Hello, New City. We hope you got a chance to read the letter that came from our elders uh, last week explaining our plans to restart in-person gatherings the weekend of June 6th and 7th. And all told, it's going to be uh, 12 Sundays that we haven't been in person worshiping together. And so we're excited uh, to get back at it. Uh, but I did want to share with you a few thoughts beforehand. Uh, we hope that you have come to expect from your staff here at New City um, hard work, uh, a lot of preparation and a thoughtful approach to everything we do. And we really think this is no exception uh, here in this case. And, and so just to explain a couple things, you know, why the first weekend of June? Um, there's several answers to that. I mean, the first is that uh, we did not want to be the first church, you know, sort of rush back to worship. We wanted the opportunity, in other words, to, to learn from others uh, as they were starting back. And so many churches in Cincinnati are starting here in late May, either May 24th, May 31st. Some of the other churches in our denomination in different states have restarted already or will in the next week. And so we wanted to have a few weeks to learn from them. What were their experiences? What, uh, what happened as they regathered for worship? Um, secondly, we wanted to have plenty of time to prepare. Uh, once we worked out some guidelines and conversation with some of our medical professionals here at New City, the Department of Health in Norwood and other churches, um, the staff wanted to have plenty of time to get things together. And then thirdly, the, you know, we're at the point now where, I, I mean, the whole country, I think, is realizing we're going to have to live uh, with this virus for a while, meaning it's not going to be as simple as, you know, shut down for X number of weeks and back to normal. But rather, the question will be, how do we modify our practices knowing that we're going to have to move forward uh, with the virus as part of our lives, at least for a while. And so uh, speaking of that, then uh, I want to mention just a few modifications, what you can expect. Um, as you probably have already heard, we're moving to three services starting here in June. Uh, the goal of that is to decrease the crowd at any one service and then to increase the distance um, between us physically when we're here in the building. And because of all that, we're gonna ask you to register. That's a little different. We've never done that before, but asking you to register ahead of time online. And uh, there will be limits, right? There'll be a time where we reach our number limit. And so if one service fills up, you'll have to, to choose a different one. And then of course, we're gonna to continue to stream services uh, for the foreseeable future so that you can watch at home. We really do feel like this is a legitimate choice. Please hear us on this. It's a legitimate choice um, to worship in that way this time. You should not feel badly about that if you're not comfortable coming back to the building yet. And especially if you're in a higher risk category, we wanna care for you by offering our services uh, via streaming. And then when you do get here, um, things will be different in the building too. And we need to acknowledge that uh, as well. You know, for, for some, you know, the, the joy of sort of being back together is gonna override, you know, anything else. But for others of us, right, you know, it's gonna be awkward. It's gonna be different. There might even be some sorrow attached to it looking different. We should just acknowledge that. We'll be wearing masks um, when we're in worship. We'll be physically further apart, you know, certain rows roped off and we'll be physically more distant from each other. We're going to be shortening our worship services to under an hour so we'll have plenty of time to clean in between so that it'll also just limit the duration of the time that we're in the space together. There won't be any New City Kids classes for the time being. We're altering certain parts of the worship service, including like, for example, how we do communion. We'll be having individually cut pieces of bread, individual cups of wine and juice. And we'll have a, an FAQs page up in a few days that will explain all of those things and, and more so you'll know what to expect. But let's just be prepared, you know, that things will be different. And then the other thing I want to mention is just for us all to acknowledge too that this is going to be a journey. Uh, it's going to be a journey, which means that there could be steps forward and that there also might be some steps back. And so if things begin to look better in Ohio or as the country as a whole, um, we might be able to ease these restrictions, right? And do things a little closer to normal. Um, but the flip side of that is if things worsen, particularly close to home, then it's possible we may have to scale back too. Let's just be prepared for that, right? This is all part of figuring out how to live with the present reality. And then the last thing I'll say is this, you know, I really do wanna echo the sentiment that was expressed uh, in the letter from our elders last week, in that we wanna strive as a people for gospel patience and gospel humility, uh, especially with each other. Ephesians 4 says, right, that the church, we are to live together with all humility and gentleness, with patience, bearing with one another in love, eager to maintain the unity of the spirit 
in the bond of peace. And you know, the Apostle Paul, just in writing that, is acknowledging that there's gonna be difficult moments for that. Uh, he would never have to write something like that if we all agreed all the time. Um, but we're gonna see things differently. We're gonna have different levels of comfort. We're gonna have to strive, you know, we're gonna have to strive to maintain the unity of the bond of peace. And so let's pray for that. Let's pray for each other. Let's pray for ourselves in that. And then let's move forward together, celebrating Christ and serving Cincinnati.